Hey guys, and welcome back. So today is December 24th. Um, I'm still not finished getting ready. I'm actually going to have a dinner tonight. I think my I think my coffee's ready. It's letting me know it's ready. All right, guys. So it's taking some time, but we finally have gas. If you can see the flames as evidence. We've been waiting for like <laughs> two weeks to have gas. Um, and today, as you know, is the 24th of December. So finally, we have gas so we can cook for Christmas. Um, we had to get very creative these last couple of days because we didn't have gas. So we had to use the um, microwave. The, well, this is electric. So that's the oven is electric and then we had to use of course the microwave and um, we have a grill outside electric grill so that was great <laughs> but definitely it's much much more of a benefit to have the stove as well in conjunction with all these things to be able to cook a myriad of things such as coffee I've been waiting to have my own coffee for I don't even know how long so yeah, finally we have this, and I'm super excited. Okay, now that I have my coffee, let's continue. So, today is December 24th. Um, we are currently under lockdown until I think the 6th of January, but we do have the 26th, 27th, 28th, and 29th, if you want to understand, um, and I think the 30th, that we are free. We're able to move around and go to different places. Please, I advise you to contact your local government or reference the CDC. I'm not a healthcare professional or government official. Thank you. So we're planning actually um, to visit one of our friends on the 28th and then be back here because we still have curfew. So currently as it stands, curfew, or at least before today, um, curfew was 2 p.m. if you're going outside of your city and 10 p.m. if you're within your city limits. And so um, at this time, We've just been like staying close to home, not really going far anywhere. Mostly we've been home because also too, all the renovations are still being finished, all the appointments we have and things like that. So we kind of haven't been able to move anyway if we wanted to. Um, that's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother day. But as it stands right now, like I said, um, we currently are under lockdown for today and tomorrow. And then by the 26th, we'll be able to move again. Um, things will be should be open again um, with the same restrictions as before, but just not as strict as today, obviously. And then, so yeah, today is a pretty gloomy day. Uh, nothing much planned for today, just organizing a little bit. You know, we still have many things to organize and put away. Um, so we have that going for us. We have set up a couple of things that I do want to show you guys. Maybe not in this video, I'm not sure, but in the near future. Uh, but if you haven't already, definitely check out my home tour video. And uh, I have more updates about, you know, the inner processes of the renovations and stuff like that coming to you guys soon. But today we celebrate because we have gas, we have water, um, and we have you know a little bit of the fixings done we have some of the electrician electricity situations fixed so that's good and now we just you know kind of settle in and wait for the next few appointments as the days go by because right now it's very difficult to get anything done just because it's you know italians love um christmas <laughs> it's a catholic country so you have christmas you have you know um new year's of course which is celebrated mostly globally and you also have the epiphany coming up on the 6th of January. So a lot of things to look forward to. I just want to kind of give you guys a taste of what I'm doing every day so you can see what life is like right now um, and see some of the accomplishments that we're making as far as getting moved into the new house, getting it renovated, and um, 
you know, just kind of moving forward from there. Uh, we just closed out on the other house that my mom was living in previously. So that was done and the lady was super nice. She actually gave my mom a couple gifts. I'll show you. Here, she gave us this cookie or treat box. Let me try to open it. Okay, I had to open that off camera. Like I was really struggling. Um, yeah, this is a treat box and it's also a music box. Hold on. Cute, right? Then she gave us this candle. It's wrapped up very nicely in here. And a pandoro, which is very typical for this time of year. It is a cake. It's more like, um, for my American viewers, it's more like a coffee cake, if you will. And it's very classic, normal flavor. Um, and what I like to do with these, and dip this in the cream. Oh, delicious, I'm telling you, delicious. It is such a gloomy day outside. Goodness. So much for a Christmas spirit, you know? Well, on the other side of things, we are on lockdown, so maybe it's fitting. <laughs> So we made it to Emma's Pharaoh. She saw uh, we're at the one at Palladio. So it looks pretty packed. There's a bunch of cars here. So it's very, very possible um, that we'll be able to get in and get to the store and like buy some supplies. Because actually tomorrow we're doing painting. So let's hope for the best. Side. Luckily, it's still open, it's still here. Um, the only difference is that right now, now you can only buy essential things here today. Anything considered non essential is actually being taped off, and it says with the big sign you cannot buy this. And actually, the store is open today until 8 p.m., so it's open all day, like kind of like almost, no, almost normal hours, um, with the exception that you cannot buy things that are not essential, like clothes, uh, shoes. Like, well, I think some shoes are on sale, but it's like very specific items, like like fancy dresses. But food and other essentials, you can buy for today. Still here, being able to pick up a couple things, 
Um, we actually got some paint while we were here because all of this is open, luckily. All of the school supplies, all of those things are open still, so that's good. Um, I'm surprised actually the store itself is open. I feel like it's a very, for me, I'm used to it in the US, like everything being open, um, but luckily, thankfully, it was open here too, so that's good.